The mystery of Tutankhamun's iron dagger. It is not of earth. King Tut's dagger was made from a meteorite. It was found to be of iron, but the iron, after over 3,000 years, was found not to rust. X-ray spectroscopy lays a decades-long metal mystery to rest. This is the Smithsonian's article on this by Aaron Blakemore. When archaeologists discovered Tutankhamun's tomb, they were stunned by the riches in it, and one of the weirder artifacts of the tomb was his dagger, a dagger that confused scientists, sporting a blade seemingly impervious to rust and age. Reports the guardian of Alan Yuhas, the secret of the blade's timeliness, timelessness has been uncovered because they found that it was made from a meteorite. New research published by the journal Meteorites in Planetary Science confirms that the blade was made with materials from a meteorite. Scientists perform X-ray fluorescence spectroscopy, a method used to learn more about the elements the object is composed of, and in this case they found the iron, nickel, and cobalt combinations, materials found inside chunks of space rocks that survived their fall to Earth. The discovery not only brings closer to decades-long debate about whether or not the dagger was made from a meteorite, but it also gives insight into the culture of ancient Egyptians. Aside from the obvious cool factor of owning a dagger made from a material from outer space, King Tut's craftsman appears to have realized that meteoritic, meteoritic iron was a long-lasting and tough material that does not rust. The researchers write that their find shows that ancient Egyptians placed a high value in what they called iron of the sky and that they knew about the off-earth origins of these materials. It turns out the king may have had a, a thing for meteorites. It's thought that other blades in the tomb and King Tut's headrest may also have been made of iron of the sky. If King Tut did lay claim to ancient Egypt's most precious metal, he would not be alone. In 2013, researchers discovered that a group of 5,000-year-old beads were also made of meteoric iron. There's something magical about metal that falls from the sky. Not only do the mysterious stones have their own hall in the American Museum of Natural History, but they're thought to contain clues to the origin of the solar system, so no wonder they were a material fit for a king. I'll leave links below for you for this. If you'd like to join me on my Patreon account, you will hear content not covered by mainstream media. These riveting stories will be based on my research and I will state my opinions and give my personal insight on diverse and controversial subjects and world events, events not covered by mainstream media and not certainly on not supported by YouTube guidelines. So whatever I have on my Patreon, most of those will not be on my YouTube channel. Please consider becoming a member today. More of the, the most significant and important videos will be on my Patreon channel. Your support helps me to continue my research and keeps this YouTube channel alive. And we depend on your support, your generous charity, because we help economically challenged families here in Athens, Greece in Kapota, and we also help the young generation with university tuition and the community around our church. Thank you.